and welcome to the night sky with Naz. I'm Naz, an astronomer from Kilda Observatory, and I'm going to be showing you how you can find stuff in the sky. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can find Sirius, the brightest star in the sky. So because it is the brightest star in the sky, it is really, really visible and really obvious and it is really easy to find as well. But it also twinkles really nicely. It twinkles through all the different colours, so it's a lovely star for you to look out for. But we're going to start with a few facts about Sirius. You might recognise the name of it from Harry Potter, Sirius Black. And that's because many of the names from it were actually uh, inspired by the stars or objects in space. Um, so there might be a few other things that you recognise up there. But Sirius is in the constellation of Canis Major, the dog, so we call it the dog star. And you might also remember that Sirius Black turns into a dog in Harry Potter. So that's where all of that inspiration comes from. So Sirius itself, a few facts about it. It is around about twice the size of our sun. So that's why it, why it is so bright. But it's also really close to us. In, uh, in terms of how far away things are in space. Sirius is relatively close at only eight and a half light years away. What we mean when we say light years, we're talking about the speed of light. So light travels at 300 million meters per second, just to give you an idea of how fast light is. So in one second, so if we take a second, so this is a second, in that one second, light can travel around the entire planet, around our Earth, seven and a half times. So that's how fast light can travel. But even at that speed, it takes light eight and a half years to reach us from this star. And that's actually quite close, which is why it's so bright in our skies. So we're going to show you how you can find Sirius in the sky. And we're going to use that by using a software called Stellarium. Stellarium is completely free for you to download if you would like to as well. It's a night sky navigation software that will teach you how you can find things in the sky. It shows you exactly what the sky looks like at night or even during the day, any time of day that you wish. And it shows you what the sky looks like and you can figure out how to navigate from one constellation to another by using it. So as you can see in this night sky navigation software, Stellarium, you can see that it is currently daytime, but we are also looking south. Down at the bottom you can see that S, which shows you that we are looking south. So you can work out which way south is by looking at where the sun rises and where it sets. The sun rises in the east and it sets in the west, so just by knowing where it rises and sets, you can work out which way is south or you could just use a compass. But once you have found where south is, you can look in that direction. You can see it's currently during the day, so we're going to fast forward time, and it's slowly going to take us through into nighttime. So you can see that the sky is getting slowly darker and darker, and we're going to continue looking south as the skies get darker and the stars start to appear. But once the stars start to appear, you should be able to make out a very obvious constellation if you're looking south called Orion. So you might recognize Orion's belt. There are three stars that make up Orion's belt. But in the top right hand corner there, you can see Orion. You have the three stars that make up his belt in the middle. He's got two stars up at the top that make up the shoulders of the hunter and two stars at the bottom that make up the legs of the hunter. But once you've found Orion, like I said, we're going to be using the three stars in the middle that make up Orion's belt. And we're going to start with the star on the right hand side of his belt. Once we've found that star, we're going to draw a line through these three stars. So these stars are called Alnitak, Alnalam and Mintaka. And once you've found them, you're going to draw a line through them. And you're going to continue with that line to the left straight out from the belt and it's eventually going to take you to Sirius, the brightest star in the sky and it's found in the constellation of Canis Major, the dog. So that is how you can find Sirius in the sky and like I said before it is a very bright 
twinkling beacon of light in the sky so it shouldn't be hard to find at all. And if you do head out at night to look for this star, make sure it is supervised and make sure you take an adult with you. But head out, look for this star, and I hope you're able to find it.